All right, we are switching gears to talk about Neowise, the comet. You may have seen pictures of it out there. We've shown them here on our, our news. You maybe have even seen it with your own eyes. But did you know that the telescope that discovered the comet was actually made here in Utah? Our tech reporter Jordan Hogan spoke with the brains behind the project. A space-based telescope built by Utah State University Space Dynamics Laboratory discovered the comet Neowise. It's a big talker right now because it can be seen with the human eye and there are several chances for you to witness it for yourself. The Neowise telescope was built for NASA between 2006 and 2009 before going on its first mission under the original name of WISE. That stands for Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. Its job at the time was to map and catalogue objects in space using infrared sensors to detect objects as cold as minus 330 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Three, two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of a Delta II rocket and WISE, searching for stars and galaxies never seen before. After its successful mission, WISE was put into hibernation in 2011 before being awoken again to fulfill a new purpose. It was reactivated back in 2013. Uh, and actually the main reason it was reactivated is because in February of 2013, there was an asteroid that um, impacted the Earth over Russia and it actually caused a lot of injuries, uh, people in Russia, as well as uh, several million dollars of, dam of damage. The telescope got renamed to Neowise to become the Near Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. That basically means it detects objects like asteroids and comets that are close to the Earth's orbit using the two infrared sensors. What it does is it's, it's constantly taking pictures every 11 seconds of every single day. When the images come down to Earth, scientists at Caltech University use a special computer program to go through all the images and find objects that are moving from one image to another. Once they find an object that is moving, then they go into the databases to figure out whether that object has been seen before. If it hasn't been seen before, then they actually send the information to what's called the Minor Planet Center. On March 27th, the comet now known as Neowise was discovered by the telescope bearing the same name. Engineers at USU say that so far, the Neowise Space Telescope has collected more than 20 million photos of the universe, with scientists across the country using the data for other purposes besides looking for asteroids and comets. With NASA's approval, the space telescope made in Utah will stay in service at least until the end of next June. On Wednesday, July 22nd, the Neowise comet will be at its closest point to Earth at a mere 64 million miles away. It still sounds like a lot, but it will be the best chance to see it up close and personal, and that's as up close and personal as your human eyes can get. Jordan Hogan, Fox 13 News, Utah.